Hey, welcome back to Average Mike. Um, here today, just a, got a leak in the basement. Um, sprinkler lines, the installer did a couple years back, maybe eight years or so ago, the uh, PP, P, CV, yeah, PCV pipes that they installed, the half inch P, PCV pipes installed, started leaking at the, at the 90 behind my shower <clears throat> in the basement. So, uh, I can't really, I don't have access to get into the glue spots. So um, I'm gonna cut off the pipe prior to getting um, back there, but then I'm gonna cut it in to put a shark bite on. But the problem is um, the shark bites aren't made for PCV, P PCV, P PVC, sorry, PVC. So, um, so what I had to do was, you know, go to Home Depot and try to figure out a workaround. And there's a couple different directions to do without gluing. Um, so the shark bites P, uh, man, PV, PVCs half inch to the half inch CTS will actually connect into, um, your PVC piping or your CPVC piping. I apologize. So I have my CPV piping, which the shark bites will actually go into and my PVC piping, the shark bites typically don't. So you have to actually convert it to a PVC from a CPVC or from PEX or from copper, right? So that was my problem. And I'm, since I'm just gonna, it's a secondary line to a faucet from my sprinkler to a spigot outside to my sprinkler lines. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut it out and just go back to the main water line that was put in from the developers. And I'll show you what basement looks. again. And uh, we're trying to fix the, uh, this line here, which is a PVC pipe, uh, half inch that comes from my sprinkler lines out from outside. Um, and I asked the sprinkler guys to tie into my existing lines where my PEX system, you can see the PEX goes to this ball valve, which is into the main distribution of my house, right? So that's the, the city water versus the, you know, city water without the sewer, without the sewer. So that's, this ties, this goes straight out to the outside into um, my faucet, my, my spigot on the outside. So they did this little contraption here and turned it into a twist cap. I don't really have enough space in where I'm gonna make the fix. But I actually did two, I'm gonna do two different locations. I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put an end cap in, and I'm gonna put one end cap, I'm gonna put another end cap in uh, back behind the shower because I can get in, but I only have about six inches to move and about three inches to my, shove my hand in between to, to actually close. And I'll show you what it looks like, and then, I, and then I'll see, show you what I did, and, and down down here, there's the pipe I cut. Uh, I'll, show, I'll get up there and I'll show here's you. Here's what I was talking about. So what I showed you earlier tied into the blue pex is down here. I. I bought, or no, this, this is the CPVC that, or the PVC that was for the sprinkler lines. And here's the other part I cut. So I cut it here. I put the junction in here that goes from PVC to CPVC. And then I put a stop in, which is an end stop. Now, if I ever wanted to use this line for the future, my hands all crooked, but if I ever wanted to use the lines for the future, I can always go back, take this shark bite off, tie back into, I'm going to leave this, this here, because this pipe's dead in the wall, it actually flows all the way about 30 feet the other direction behind my bathroom. So I'm gonna do this exact contraption, this here, behind my shower. And again, if I ever wanna use it in the future, a tie into that sprinkler line in, in the future from there, I would, I would tap it in here, and this will give me an additional water source somewhere inside if I wanna put a sink or anything like that that's from the, from the water, from the pecs. But I have pecs running all over this house, so I would just probably tap off here. So I'm probably just gonna strap this up, let this hang, and just call it and just call it a day instead of completely strapping it and getting rid of it. it i think it's gonna be more of a problem than completely redoing this whole entire junction okay this is how we convert from your pecs to a shark bite t to a shark bite t to p to c pvc to a shark bite to a twist on pvc to a glued in pvc right but if you don't have space to do that i'm doing this where you go from PVC, shark bite that converts into a CPVC, and then a stop down here. So I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna strap it up above the, above the ceiling. And then the, you said, as like I said, this was the old pipe. I dumped all the water out. I'm gonna do this, because I only have about six inches to work in behind my shower. And I'll, hopefully I can show you a little snap what that looks like behind the shower. All right, I'm converting again from the PVC to the CPVC. So it's really quick, really easy. Um, I'm gonna do that before I get into the, into the wall because I gotta climb to a cavity. It's pretty tiny. So for, before you wanna do it, I already sanded them down. You wanna take, after you snip them, 
cut the piece you want. You take the sandpa sandpaper and you do the edges. Make sure they're nice and smooth and there's no, no spurs on, any, on either end, right? Then you take it and basically just jam it in like that to the shark bite. See that? Nice and done. Right, I only have one hand because I'm holding the other hand with the camera. So that's easy. That's nice and, nice, nice and easy. There's the stop. I'm going to do the same thing to the stop. Boom. Done. Now this piece is fully connected, right? And as you've seen in the other one, I'm going to take the PVC, half inch PVC, and jam and, and, and shove it in the, you know, um, I'm going to snip it, I'm going to boom, cl clip it, and that's going to be behind the wall. And I'll show you the picture at the end because I want it to be impossible for me to hold this, do that, and do the same function. I'll show you the pictures. I don't think I'm going to be able to, it's too dark in there to, take, to show a video. So I'll show you what the picture looks like, and then we'll, we'll uh, close up. I got it, the water, the water line drained and got it on my rug back here, so I got a fan blowing and drying it off. So this again is for my sprinkler pipe. Um, nine years, this, this bathroom wasn't done. I finished the bathroom within a couple months. The sprinkler pipe, which was eight, nine years old, uh, started leaking. Anyway, so here's the hole I'm going to climb into. Uh, as you can see, I had to cut out. Um, I had to bang a little bit of the, the return duct, uh, and I had to cut out some of the, uh, the some of the stud here, so I can actually fit my shoulder. This is about a 12 inch gap here, so. Uh, but I'm going to tie that, the, the, this piece, I'm going to cut and tie this piece in. So you'll see me climb out of the hole or you'll see me at the end of it. I'll try to take a picture and put it at the end of the video. So the glue never grabbed. You can see how clean it is on the edge. <clears throat> so I was outside the wall or in the wall and I was trying to glue it, you know, with a tiny little space that I had. And uh, <laughs> that was it. So let me just turn the camera around and, and show you what it looks like here. Uh, how tight how, how tight it is up in there so this is the wall in here and you can see next to this red line or the red line right above there's the shark bite in there so between the duct and the vent pipe um it's a little less than two and a half two inches or something like that so i put that that ball in the water's on now it's running there's no leaks um it was leaking down on the floor looks like it's starting to dry out i put the fan on it for 24 hours <clears throat> And uh, so yeah, that's the hole <laughs> climbed into. Uh, the cavity of the hole is pretty tight back in there. Um, it's, a, it's a little over 14 inches from the duct work that you see to the back of the shower saw, which is where the red and blue lines go into. So uh, pretty tight little window. Well, thanks for watching Average Mike. Uh, this has uh, been the video about converting a PEX or a CPVC to a PVC or the other way around PVC to a CPVC and PEX um, using the shark bites. Um, if you don't have enough tight enough space to kind of get the glue in, but you have enough space to kind of leverage a push, uh, then use the shark bites. And they kind of, um, they've been working so well so far for me. Uh, the, you know, the, the glue failed on our joint. <clears throat> That's why we had to replace it. And now we have, you know, the carpet's completely soaked in, the, in from the bathroom to the, the basement floor. Um, it's drying out, it's been drying out for a good 24 hours now. Um, still a little wet so we got a lot of water there we sucked it up as much as we could hope you enjoyed this video of average mike um if you did like comment subscribe tell me how i can make this a little bit better um plumbing is the worst thing in my i hate it it's absolutely my my nemesis um i can do anything in a house so plumbing is is the because it's water right and water damages everything so anyway thanks for watching average mike like and subscribe um hope you enjoyed it make some comments